Hey, everybody. Happy two days after Thanksgiving. I hope you had a blessed one. Do you remember this very distinctive chord progression? You'll recognize it when I put the words to it. I'll give you a hint. It's an India RE song, and I just love it. So I've been reading excerpts from my book called Grateful Faith Healing in the Gift of Music, and it's a working title because I uh, have a new literary agent, and he is kind of working with me on some marketing, and uh, we both decided to change the title. He's very creative. Okay, the book is about overcoming bipolar disorder. I live today a very grateful, productive, happy, spiritually filled life in remission. Um, I am on medication and that won't change, but I'm very grateful today to have a healthy life. Wasn't that way for a lot of years. I actually also have another condition, right? Alopecia, I don't know if anybody who knows what that is, but uh, it's an autoimmune disorder and I have that too. <laughs> so I'm still very grateful, very, very grateful. So it's, uh, I hope you don't look at this as a sad story. There's a very happy ending here. But I talk a little bit about having alopecia in chapter two of my book. Oh, excuse me. So I've read you the prologue, the preface, part of chapter one, and even part of chapter two. But today I'm reading you part of it where I discuss alopecia. So away we go. The first time I lost hair, I was in the second grade, and I had just learned that my teacher had died. I think it was my first experience with death. She was literally here today and gone tomorrow. It confused all of her students, but especially me. This was an emotional trigger that put stress on my body, and that was the first time a little bald patch appeared. But it went away with some cortisone cream, and years later, I was not that lucky. The condition worsened tremendously. I can remember it well. I was about 26 years old, and my sister Denise was helping me get ready for a gig. I was going to be doing a New Year's Eve gig. It was a big party. I was looking forward to it, but as she was doing my hair, she noticed several bald patches in close proximity right at the crown of my head. Little by little, those small patches turned into one large bald spot, and I knew, uh, I knew now that I needed to cover it up. Cortisone cream wasn't helping, so I got a fall or partial wig that you kind of comb into your hair. It kind of weaves with the rest of your hair, the hair that I had left anyway. We went back to the endocrinologist and promptly he assured me that I would not lose all of my hair. He had a beautiful, soothing voice. He was Indian. He had a thick, beautiful Indian accent and it was very reassuring when he said, don't worry, Miss Jacobs, you are not going to lose all of your hair. This is not going to happen, his exact words. It will all grow back. Well, we returned several weeks later with only a few strands of hair on my head and what did he have to say? If it wasn't so sad, it would really be kind of funny. Yes, Miss Jacobs, you are losing all of your hair. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. Really? I replied with a note of sarcasm in my voice. Do you really think so? Insert more sarcasm here. That was how I got through, you know, sarcasm and tears. <laughs> so I knew by now that alopecia in any form was hereditary. And I did have an uncle on my dad's side with alopecia. He was much older and in poor health when he had to go on a lot of medication. And that was when his hair fell out. His physical trigger was stress, and um, he used to wake up every morning for about a week, and he'd have hair all over the mattress, all over his pillows and his sheets. For me, I used to sit in my one-bedroom apartment in Lakewood in a very big, comfy chair with a long white pillow across my lap, and I would run my fingers through my black, coarse, dark strands, and it would just come out in clumps, and I would lay it on this long white pillow, all this dark, thick black hair, I mean, I don't have to tell you what kind of stress that caused back then. So a little education about alopecia, there's four types. There's androgenetic, which is a thinning of the hair. Areata, which is loss of hair in patches, like it began with me. Totalis, all of the hair on your head only. And then universalis, or total loss of all the hair on your body. And that final form was where I was at this point and today still. My eyebrows were thinning, eyelashes were falling out, leg hair, nose hair, ear hair, everywhere there is hair. It all felt out, fell out and it was dramatic and it caused a lot of depression. But the first time I tried on a full wig, I loved it so much, it lifted a lot of stress and a lot of depression. The wigs didn't look like wigs, I'm really blessed. And I was much more comfortable in my own skin. 
God bless my family who went through it with me, you know, and the people who made the wigs, they had great bedside manners. My parents, the deep, deep, deep Catholics faith in my parents, they were quick to remind me how much worse it could be. You know, I tried on wigs next to people who lost a hair, but also had cancer. They lost it due to chemotherapy and they were fighting for their lives. So it wasn't just hair loss for them like it was for me. Someone always has it worse, honey, my mother would say. My father too. They would tell me, just be thankful and trust the Lord. He will take care of you. And he did. And he is. And God is good. And I am very grateful. Because I am not my hair. I am not the skin. I'm not your expectations, no. I am not my hair. I am not the skin. I am the soul that lives within. God bless you, everybody. Hey, turn your maladies into melodies. God bless.